in coding back in an era when they used languages you probably haven't heard of anymore, like Fortran and Pascal and COBOL, and quickly found that I was much more interested in the product and the customer side of figuring out you know, what was behind the motivation for the product. I'm Carrie Rupp, I'm with Dreamit Ventures. Dreamit is a startup accelerator. We bring in early stage companies for what we consider a three month boot camp to help them either uh, launch their business or actually identify that there isn't a business opportunity there. So it's very much succeed fast, fail fast. Capital Factory was kind enough to host us. So when we are running our three month cycle, we had um, eight companies in here from around the country uh, and they shared the office space with the rest of the companies who are here on a more permanent basis. Broadband is fast, broadband is huge. Broadband is enabling, you know, instead of there being only limited ideas that can get tested in the world, it's almost like an infinite number of ideas can get tested. One of the interesting things about the way the internet works today is that most of the companies are actually building on what's called the cloud. And so they don't actually have to buy servers and get a huge expensive infrastructure in order to start their company. And it allows for a lot more innovation to happen. In the course of the last five years, we've helped launch 102 companies. We have another 25 that are going to get launched by the end of August. Um, and over the next three years, we expect to help launch 180 companies. And we're just, you know, one small company with nine people helping facilitate that. Um, so you, you know, multiply that out by all the other programs that are helping companies and then all the entrepreneurs that are starting on their own.